Uh, Bruce has mentioned a few times that he's been really uh, surprised by the way you played, happily surprised. What do you think you've done in practice that's uh, made him think that way? Uh, first of all, when I first got here, uh, I weighed 278 pounds and working with the lifting, our lifting coach um, and getting on a diet, I've dropped down to, uh, I'm 252 right now, 254. So um, that changed me with my uh, my diet and the way I look. I look skinny and well. I lost weight, gotten stronger. Uh, that would be the first part. And like the second part is just learning, uh, learning the game, the way you uh, teach it. And just the way he, just the way he needs me to do things, and I just listen and learn and do whatever he needs me to do. So it's just getting the experience of just uh, playing on the next level, especially in practice, because um, obviously everybody that uh, has there instead of the freshmen have already had experience in the Big Twelve. So just teaching I me, mean, just uh, basically learning everything that they need me to learn. I've been doing. Where would you say the strength of your game is at right now? Are you more of a defensive guy or an offensive guy? Uh, more of a I, – I, I mean, I look at myself as a team player mostly. Uh, I'll say the both ends. Um, my defense needs to get a little – I mean, get a little better. But I think my offense uh, part is good. I, I love setting screens for my players and uh, executing the right plays and anything my coach needs me to do. So, I'll say mostly um, it's just I finish around the basket rebound um, and just do anything that we need to do to win mostly. And with, with games two days away here, how excited are you to, to play your first college game? I'm very excited. Uh, I'm also nervous, but I, I think that comes with everybody being nervous for their first game uh, as, as a freshman also. But um, I think I'll be ready for anything that's uh, coming towards me because I've been uh, – working on doing this for six months, five to six months. So I, I think I'm ready for anything that comes to me. All right. Thanks, Davion. Good luck this week. Sure. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, Davion. It's Chucky Kemp. I'll be with uh, Tim Welsh this week with ESPN calling the games in Manhattan. Yeah. What are some of the, you know, for you, I guess it's not, this is kind of what you know as far as the protocols and all the things you guys have to go through. What What's something that has been, or what are some of the things that have made this se this season or the build up to this season difficult for you guys? Uh, It's been, it's been kind of difficult. I mean, it started out kind of rough because uh, everything was kind of strict. Um, just anything like you do, you got to wear a mask. If you go in public, you got to wear a mask. If you ride in the car with somebody, wear a mask. Like, and we also had to wear a mask even if uh, walking in the basketball facility uh, in locker rooms. And we just got to stay like six feet apart from each other because we don't be we, we don't want to be a contact trace or uh, end up being positive or just any any uh, situation is possible. Uh, we also had to work out in mask in a weight room. We had to have our mask up uh, during our conditioning and workouts before uh, our official practices. We had to uh, wear a mask like the like twenty four seven, and I feel like the difficult part was um, when you start sweating, like the whole like thing gets like drenched and full of sweat. So it would just be hard um, breathing through it, and uh, just mostly just everything with the COVID things has have been difficult. Um, I think everything has uh, has to start off rough in the beginning, but it gets smoother at the end or in the, like in the middle of it and just of it. So I think everything's going fine now than what it was just because of the fact that it's a new team um, and everybody's just getting just used to everything the coach is teaching us. You guys have a lot of young guys, obviously some that got some experience last year, but do you feel like it's a team that, or and you might have already seen it, you probably have, that can grow and improve really quickly because you guys are all kind of in this together? Yeah, no, I feel I feel like we have grown and uh, we've grown quickly for sure. Because, um, like I said, I, in the beginning, I think it was kind of rough. I don't, well, looking at my perspective, it was rough for me. But also looking at everybody else, it, it looked kind of rough. But, I mean, after a while, it just gotten back better. But uh, we most definitely grown fa uh, faster. But I also I think everybody loves the game. So it also helps that uh, them loving the game, it just – they have a, a stronger comeback when we at our lowest, you know. Appreciate it. Good luck this week.
For sure, appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, Davion. Uh, was wondering what's the biggest difference, you know, in practice from practicing at Melville to practicing, you know, at K State. Uh, it was more lean. I mean, it was the same. Uh, Coach Jeff and uh, Coach Geely was always uh, hard on me during practice uh, at Melville. But it's way different when you go to college and because the coaches get more harder and harder and more strict um, and just different teaching, uh, different teaching styles and stuff like that. But, I mean, it, it has been, like, a way big difference because, like, now I look back on it, I'm like, bro, this is college now. This is not high school. Like, things is different. Things has changed. Things are harder. And I just got to accept that and play how it is. So it's most definitely been different, um, especially with the conditioning. Because it's just, like, back and forth, back and forth. And, like, high school with more breaks in, like, in practice. And, like, we we really we get, like, two breaks in practice, which is – and, like, versus high school, it was, like, more like six or something. And you're the, you know, the youngest post on the team. Uh, what are your thoughts on Casey Iziagu and Carlton Lingard from what you've seen from them in practice? Uh, what I've seen from them from practice, um, Casey seemed a lot, a lot more experienced. Um, talking about like he's a junior and uh, how like how strong he is built, and for his size, being six ten and and so strong and got great touch. Um, it was it was competition for me for sure. Like in the, in the beginning, for a lot, because he used to just kill me every day in practice and beat me up, and because I just didn't know how to guard somebody like that size and somebody that ex, that's experienced. So um, after a while, I just started learning how to play against uh, a big player, a person like him, especially that good, good, good touch, uh, good at rebounding, uh, just every like anything as a big that you need for a big he has. So, um, like I said, it was hard going against him and competing against him, but it's also getting me better and also getting him better because I'm, uh, I'm big as well. And I also have, you know, some pros and cons for, uh, for myself. So I think it's helped us going, going, going against each other every day because we can ourselves better every day. So Carlton Lingard, um, I feel like he's, I mean, he, I feel like he's a uh, halfway experienced, but I think he um, he can learn more a couple of things, especially uh, for like the Big Twelve and college stuff. Because um, I talked to him and he never even played AAU, and I feel like AAU could could have been like a thing that could have helped him also. Because I know Peach Jam and AAU and always uh, playing on EYBO has helped me a lot throughout the years. So. I say he, I, I, he's good for sure. As how tall he is and um, he, him being seven foot as well, um, he just can get stronger and uh, he can shoot very good. So be, being seven foot and being a shooter is also a good thing because a lot of people, I mean, a lot of bigs like that doesn't have a lot of shooting abilities. And then what's it like to be on a team, you know, finally with your friend, Luke Kazuki, uh, and how's he dealing with, you know, his injury? And how's the team dealing with it as well? Um, being uh, being on the team with Luke Ken has been like a, a great opportunity, and it was most definitely one like one of the reasons why I also came here. Also, because I mean, I'm I'm going somewhere that um, where my my friend is comfortable here, and I'm also comfortable here, and we can just both be comfortable here together, and you know, do some big things like we used to back in the day playing EYBL and uh, AAU, playing against each other and just doing great things like we all we always have been. But um, <clears throat> dealing with his injury right now, he's also getting – he's actually getting better right now. And um, I don't know if you guys know, but he tore his ligament in his toe. And he's been out for a while, like a long time. But – he also has been getting better. Like he's wearing shoes now. He's wearing a boot like two weeks ago. Uh, he's jogging. Um, he just started lifting weights. He's just doing a lot of things on his feet and just keep it going. He can bend his toe now. It's like getting way better. So, I mean, hopefully we can get back. He can get back soon. Uh, everybody misses him on the court. 
because um, he's, he, he's, he's always a, a big presence on the court, especially me knowing him. He's always been a big presence on the court, doing whatever coach needed him to do, um, anything he could do offensively and defensively. He's just a great player to have. So I think uh, missing him wouldn't uh, hurt us a, a lot, but it hurt us a little bit. But we still need him. We still need that. We need. We still need our all of our pieces. So we're waiting on him to come back. Still. The last thing I got for you is who's impressed you the most uh, in practice, whether it's newcomers like you or or you know the veterans. Who's impressed you the most? Um, I really like Mike McGraw, um because he's on the same. I feel like he's on the same mindset as me. As in, uh, all I want to do is win. All I want to do is win. All I want to do is win. Um, so I'm, I'm going to do everything that my team need me to do to win. And also he's been experienced and you can just tell the way he play that like, okay, I need to cut through this basket when, when, when this happens, or I need to make this play when this, when this, uh, when it's down by two or when we have a minute left, like he knows like everything. And, um, he's also has been a leader for our team and, uh, he can be more of a leader, but I think he's, a great leader right now at the moment. Um, I feel like, yeah, he's been like the most, um, like eyes on person. Um, for a freshman, I would say um, Celso Miguel. I really like him a lot. Also, Nigel Pack. Nigel Pack has uh, been also a great point guard for us. Uh, he knew how to knock down shots when he's open. And on a catch and shoot, he's making it all this, like every single time. Uh, he moves the ball well. He has great touch around the rim when he needs to finish uh, against opponents. Um, he's just a great player overall. He knows how to execute plays. He's smart. And also, so Miguel, he's also a great point guard for us. Um, know how to make great plays. And, uh, great, he can make great assists also. So uh, he move, he's, he's kind of uh, taller than Nigel. So that would be like one of the uh, pros over Nigel that he'll have because you know how to handle the ball well also. So, I mean, both of them uh, freshmen will be a great outstanding person just to uh, think about as in my eyes and also my my girl. Um, And I'll also say Dejuan Gordon uh, because I feel like he has the same mindset as my girl also as in, uh, I mean, he he takes the basket well He's also shoot the ball when he's open. He, uh, he's just a great person to have on, the, on your team because his attitude, because you can tell he loves the game and he's hungry for the game. And he also works on his off days, uh, get shots up when he needs to, get in a whole another workout. So he's a great player to have also. Appreciate you, Davion. Thank you for taking all my sure. questions. For sure. Tom, do I have time to ask anything, or do do we have to switch over to Bruce? Um, we could do one last thing for Davion, and then we'll let him go. He's got a class here, so. Okay. Are you, are you good? Uh, I got class at eleven thirty, so it's fine. Okay. Okay, well, Davion, uh, it's uh, I'm Ryan Black. I'm with the, the Manhattan Mercury, the local paper. Um, I was curious, how much did having the chance to play with Luke in college was that part of you picking K State? I mean, were you guys at all? A package deal in that regard? Did you guys talk much about that, or did it just? Uh, no, we yeah, we're not. A, we were we weren't a package deal at all. Um, it was just because of some fact he committed like a month before me, mm-hmm. and um, so I was just knocking down all my options because uh, uh, obviously my last uh, top three was uh, my last top three was Mizzou, KU, and K uh, State, and uh, I knocked both of them down. And which was KU Mizzou and K State was going to be the last option to, uh, to pick, but I was also going to do some more visits, official visits after. But I just looked at the pros and cons of uh, just going to K State, and I mean it was just one of the options. I mean one of the reasons because I'd just be playing with Luke again. But I mean it wasn't just the mainly reason because it was also for myself and my reasons and how I felt about it. So it wasn't a package deal at all. Are you guys rooming together by chance? Yeah, we uh we're actually yeah we actually roommates. Me me Selden and Luke are roommates. I guess I saw that his uh his team ended your high school career. Is that right? And <laughs> yeah. How much uh yeah. did he give you for that? You said what? 
How much grief does he give you for that? Does he? Does he? Uh, he don't give me. A, he don't give me a lot. I mean, like ever, ever since we lost, I mean, he said it like he brought it up like 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 at least two twice. Just because it's a simple fight, like we we know what players we are and whatever happens in the game, we know each other. You know what I'm saying? So like we know how each other play. We know our mindset. We know our goals. Like so, I don't know. He don't, he don't give me. He don't give me nothing about it though. <laughs> And, Davion, I guess my last question for you is, uh, you know, after, after Casey got here, you know, Bruce has mentioned that, you know, if you kind of don't kind of keep your head on a swivel, he might – Casey might catch you with an elbow or something like that. Have you yeah. uh, have you already had to kind of be on the lookout for that since you got here? No. Nah, yeah, I have for sure because, uh, like I say, he's stronger. He's stronger than me. I mean, so, I'm, I mean, I'm trying to get on that level also, get stronger than him. So, I mean, I've also caught that elbow – a lot, a lot, and a lot. So that's why I'm like, okay, look, I'm tired of getting beat up every day. I'm tired of, I'm tired of him, you know, just killing me every day. So I'm gonna just do my best, and I'm gonna just fight 100. percent I'm gonna give him my all. I'm just, I'm like, you know, I'm just, I'm just gonna, just gonna go after him. I'm gonna just keep doing it. So I mean, now it's not, it hasn't been like, you know, a kill, kill, kill ever since, because that's how it was in the beginning. But like now it's getting better. So like now I know how to like guard him. And I know how to score them, and I know how to play against them. So it's kind of been getting better. But I'm not saying he still don't kill me, but I'm still saying like he's it's getting better for sure. So, Davion, thank you so much. For sure, no problem.